Hello everyone, TI offers a huge variety of calculators with the TI-84 title, so it can easily get confusing figuring out which one you really need. To clarify this common confusion, I'd like to share what I've learned over the six years I've been a graphing calculator enthusiast. A few topics I'll address are, are there specific calculators you should outright avoid? If a teacher requests a TI-84 plus CE, can you get away with a less expensive calculator? Do you need to buy a calculator new? Or can you trust used calculators, among other common questions? Let's take things slow and start with the calculators you should avoid. First, if browsing used calculators, do not buy anything marked as school property. Not only are those calculators often stolen property, if your school mistakes your calculator for a classroom set, you'll have difficulty proving you own something permanently marked as school property. Second, if buying a calculator used, be sure the calculator doesn't have missing columns on the screen. This is a sign of screen ribbon cable failure, which is very common on calculators with monochrome screens and are older than 15 years. Unfortunately, even though it's a common issue, it's impossible to fix without soldering skills. Ribbon cable failure only gets worse, so avoid calculators with these broken screens. If possible, try to keep your eye on used calculators manufactured within the past 10 years. You can get the manufacture date of a used calculator by checking the date code on the back. For example, in L-0503, the 05 is the month, so May, and the 03 is the last two digits of the year, so 2003. I should note that black splotches on the screen are not a sign of ribbon cable failure. Those spots are from pressure point damage. While they can be an annoyance and are also impossible to repair, they do not get worse on their own. Specific calculators I do not recommend are ones older than the TI-83+. Not only does this include the TI-80, 81, 82, and 83 non-plus, it also includes the TI-85 and TI-86. Although the TI-85 and 86 may sound like upgraded versions of the TI-84 family, they are actually much older and completely different calculators. I don't recommend these calculators since their buttons and menu layouts are different from the TI-84 family, which could confuse your teacher. They also lack modern software features like updates and useful apps. Another calculator to stay away from is the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition, or CSC for short. While it was released in 2013 and has a color screen, it was so underpowered, TI quickly released its successor, the TI-84 Plus CE, in 2015 and abandoned the CSE. I would not recommend even buying a CSE used, and instead I would suggest going for a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, since it's faster and more widely used. Alright, let's talk about the calculators I do recommend now. For those hard on cash, a used TI-83 Plus will get you through high school math just fine. Despite being released in 1999, the TI-83 Plus still holds its ground in modern curriculums. I have graduate friends who use the TI-83 Plus through math courses like Geometry, Algebra 1 and 2, and Statistics, along with science courses like Chemistry and Physics 1, with no problem. A bonus for being around for over 20 years is that the TI-83 Plus has a massive amount of programs you can install from TICalc.org or Chemitech.net. All you need is a Silverlink cable and TI Connect to transfer programs. The TI-83 Plus does lack a few big features such as math print, which makes input and results more readable by formatting your equations. The TI-83 Plus is also slower than a TI-84 Plus, unless you get the slightly newer TI-83 Plus Silver Edition. However, if you have a budget for the TI-83 Plus Silver Edition, I would suggest upgrading to the TI-84 Plus. The TI-84 Plus is a great middle ground calculator. It's adequately quick, and it can format your input and results in a more readable way using MathPrint. It's compatible with all the TI-83 Plus programs, but has significantly more storage so you can install more of them, especially if you upgrade to the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, which is the same speed, but with even more storage. The TI-84 Plus also has a mini USB port, so you don't need to buy the obsolete and increasingly rare Silverlink cable. Instead, you can use a dirt cheap mini USB cable. 
This calculator can get you through any high school math and science course, and most college courses just fine. However, it does still have a monochrome screen, which is susceptible to pressure damage, ribbon cable failure, and it's still powered by AAA batteries rather than something rechargeable. This is all resolved on the next calculator though. The TI-84 Plus CE is the top of the line graphing calculator in the TI-84 family. Although it's the most expensive option, it's much faster than any of its predecessors. It's backwards compatible with many programs, and it has even more storage. Its new screen connector fixed the ribbon cable failure issue. It also has a built-in screen protector, so there's no chance of damaging the screen. Best of all, the screen is color and backlit, which is amazing to use at night, especially if you enable dark mode using a process I documented in the card above. The TI-84 Plus CE is currently receiving software updates with no sign of being discontinued within the next few years. These updates include big upgrades over the TI-84 Plus, such as new math functions like piecewise and left, right, and center for statistics. There's also new key shortcuts, new programming commands, TI Innovator support, and external keyboard support. I should warn that these software updates do sometimes remove features, such as in 2020, an OS update banned most programs from running on the calculator. TI did this because of a massive security flaw in the calculator's exam mode. TI tried to blame this flaw on programs, even though the flaw had nothing to do with programs. In fact, all of TI's new selling points have been reused since 2017, which was the last major good update. That's not to say the TI-D4 Plus CE is a bad calculator though. A jailbreak has been available for a year now, so programs can still be run, and there's big active communities on sites like Chemitech, TI Planet, and Reddit able to assist with any issues you could encounter. You can buy the TI-D4 Plus CE used and it will still be faster than any of its predecessors. However, new TI-D4 Plus E's made since May 2019 have refreshed hardware that is two times faster than the original TI-D4 Plus CE. Even if you overclock the old calculator using a tool I made in the card above, you could only get it up to 30% faster, not 200% faster. This means you can shave off precious time with each calculation during test, and it's especially useful with graphing. You can tell if a calculator is going to have the faster hardware, by looking on the back of it and seeing if the last letter on the date code is M or later. You can also tell if it's going to have the faster hardware just by checking if it's in a cardboard box or plastic packaging. A cardboard box is guaranteed to have the faster hardware, while the plastic packaging may not have it. This calculator will get you through any high school math and science course no problem. It will also see you through most college courses as well, since you can install programs such as Pineapple CAS that will increase its capabilities. The last calculator I'll talk about in the TI-84 family is the brand new TI-84 Plus CE Python released in 2021. This calculator is almost exactly the same as the regular TI-84 Plus CE. It has the same faster hardware, same OS, same program compatibility, and same jailbreak. The only big difference is that it has extra hardware so it can interpret Python programs. It is the first and only TID4 calculator sold in the US that has Python. Unfortunately, the Python implementation is heavily cut down, abysmally slow, and uses many proprietary functions made by TI. However, it's definitely still usable, and if you don't want to spend money on a computer to run full Python, or your school requires it, this calculator can be an alternative. I wouldn't recommend going out of your way to buy it, since it's so similar to the regular TI4 Plus CE, but certainly not a detriment if you get it anyways. During your research, you may have come across calculators that had a dash T at the end. To put it simply, those are just European versions of the same calculator and are typically very similar to the US calculators. For example, the only difference between the TI-84 Plus CE and the TI-84 Plus CE T is an LED that indicates when the user is in exam mode. Unless your teacher specifically asks for this type of calculator, I'd recommend sticking to the non-T versions for the TI-84 family. I'd like to touch on some of the accessories you may see while browsing. For example, you may see silicone cases for the calculators. Unless you're prone to dropping your stuff multiple times a day, the cases are pretty unnecessary. All of TI's calculator's plastic shells are built like tanks and do not crack or break easily. 
The silicone cases don't even add water resistance or protect the most vulnerable and fragile part, the screen. If you have a color calculator though, TI thankfully built in a screen protector so there's no vulnerable parts there. You do not need a screen protector for your color calculator screen protector. That'd be like adding a pocket protector to your pocket protector. Not that I have a pocket protector or anything. A anyways, the built-in protector does not scratch easily, and the parts that scuff over time aren't distracting at all. Briefly moving away from the TID4 family, you may have seen TI also sells a different lineup of calculators, the Inspire and the TI-89. While these calculators are far faster and are more feature-rich than the TID4 family, they are completely different calculators so their buttons and menus are not the same at all. They are great calculators to use, but they are sometimes too feature-rich and are not allowed in certain classes and standardized tests. Since this video is about the TID4 family, I won't go into detail. But if you're considering these calculators, I would check that your standardized tests allow them. And I would also consult your teacher to be sure the calculators are not only allowed in the classroom, but your teacher can help you if you don't know how to operate a certain function. I hope that's cleared up any confusion you had. If you'd like to know my thoughts on heavily using a T84 Plus CE for six years, feel free to check out my review in the card above. That's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Have a good day.